Hello everybody. Welcome back to EverQuest 2. It is Wednesday the 22nd of the 7th. And it is about about 10 to 9. 10 to 10 in the morning, something like that. I think. <laughs> Let me look. Yeah, yeah, it's quarter to, quarter to 10 in the morning. Uh, yesterday was the launch day of EverQuest 2, the... Time lock servers. Uh, I didn't try last night to get on, I didn't think it'd be worth the time, so I'm trying this morning to have a look and we'll see what these new servers are like. Created character, I've created uh, the Barbarian Bruiser. It's like one I had on uh, one of the live servers. So here we go, I've called him All Grey so that you can find me, easy enough, as I said I would. Let's just see what happens. Uh, the far journey? What? What's this? Oh, don't tell me they're actually taking it all the way back again. Uh, you might recall, I think I mentioned it in one of the videos, that they, they said they couldn't take it back to the original uh, starting islands because it would be too much in the coding for them to bother with. Um, but this is how the original EverQuest started. You started on the far journey. Right, hang on. I'm getting slightly excited here. Let's have a look now. Uh, oh, look at all. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a lot of characters. Um, now then, who shall I use for... I'll use Nicholas because that is the other bruiser. There we go. And what have we got here? Right, that will have to be moved to. Where should we go to? Move that to there. I need that there. That can move somewhere else as well. Put that there. Leave that for a, a taunt. Right, let's see how we get started then. Uh, we talk to the captain. Ahoy! Tis good to see you awake. You seem a little squiffy. At least you cheated death. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Me apologies. I am Captain Drake Varlos, and this here fine ship is the Far Journey. How did I get here? Me hearties pulled you from the sea, you and those other bilge rats. Do you remember? Uh, vaguely. Where are we headed? We are heading to the island of Lyft, and... Ah! Oh! Ingrid, quit talking at the shorty and fix that yard arm. Don't want the ship to come apart on these high winds, do you? Aye, aye, Captain. You'd think she'd never seen a gnome before. New quest. After recovering from being rescued from the seas, you find yourself aboard the fast journey. And be given a task complete in your return for your rescue. Oh, there! The seas are getting a bit angry. Go speak to me first mate, Wowland. He might have something for you to do. Okay. I don't believe this. We went to the Isle of Refuge. This is what they said they couldn't do. So this is this is a bit of a surprise. This, as you know, I went onto the uh, the beta servers, and you started in Hallus or um, Dark Light Wood. What? Oh, hey there! You startled me. Can I seem to find me hat? Do you need some help? Sure. Me needs you to go looky in them near boxes, <laughs> and if you find it, let me know. Go lucky in them boxes. Our treasure chest. We've got some goodies. Oh, look at this pathetic 
Two bags, oh my god. Oh, it's got mitigation on it, so I might as well equip it. Warren's hat. Oh, that's his hat. Oh, okay. Ah, me hat. Now me is safe, thanks to ye. Here, take this charm. You may find a use for it. Well, now. Hmm, quite a bit of task, but okay. Talk to this young lady down here. Hello, Ingrid. Hello. How are you? Uh, good, thanks. How about you? I am fine. Just after the last pickup, I have been working extra hard since Vim said she would give me the piece of Luckland she found. Vim? Yes, yes. Vim. The merchant over there. She found a small piece of the moon and is having me work for it. Maybe you can go buy it from her for me. Maybe you have something she will buy. Why don't you go talk to her? Oh, all right, okay, this is going to be the uh, the Mariner's Charm that she'll buy then. I I'm still in this state of shock. Oh, look at that, there's the moon. Hello, Vim. Okay, can't do that. Unless... How much is that to buy? Yep, there we go. Sell that. Buy that. And there we go. Oh, you got this. Oh, I cut her off midstream there. Sorry. <laughs> Right, so we've got some coin for that. Who else wants me? Ha <laughs> ha! Avast ye! We need to talk. What is it? Well, tis bit of a problem. You see, there be rats on board. The vermin keep eating the supplies, and I need ya to go feed them to the deep afore they eat anything else. Yeah, that's what we be need. <laughs> With this ear club, it is nice and splintered. Sure to cause them some pain. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> oh, I quite like him. Yeah, very good. Equip. All right, let's have that. And bingo and a level two. Thank you. What do we get? Meet your fist. Oh, that's gonna go there. Aha, you made quick work of them vermin. <laughs> Wait, is that a Whoa. Oh, it can be. Quick, Ingrid! Secure the note! I'll be a Dracota off the foe! Quick now! Secure those chests! Everyone down! Watch it! Whoa. I just freed the goblin. That can't be good. That was close. It's been here two months since the last reported sighting of one of them. That gang of a goblin has escaped! And look! Me beautiful ship is on fire! Ye must put an end to his life before he tears me ship apart!
Ah, you saved the far journey and me crew. It seems you proved to be quite a hero. Well, with the help of that young lass there, you do. <laughs> it was nothing. There be the island of refuge. Get ready to drop anchor. Just let me know when you want to go ashore. Ingrid, swing the lead and prepare to drop anchor. So, you are ready to go ashore, matey? Don't you mind? We get paid to do that. Okay, let's have a look. See, Overlord 5. <laughs> oh dear, there's a lot of people here. Wow, yes it is. Well, would you believe that? They only went and done it, as they say. Right, okay. Let's just be with Tail Veil, she is the entrance, okay. Ah, there you are. I have been expecting you. There is much work ahead of us in establishing Freeport's dominance over this island. The Overlord's troops have secured the outpost, but there is a growing nuisance on the other side of the island that must be addressed. That is where you come in. I am Te'il Envelix, attendant and confidant of the Overlord. I am here to ensure that our operation on this island is successful. You, on the other hand, will be assisting us with some field work to help prepare you for life as a citizen of Freeport. The Overlord is the fiercely courageous ruler of Freeport. A statue of his glorious visage graces the pond in the center of the outpost. Though he is merciless to his enemies, he is generous to those who serve him. Pray you never do anything to fall from his grace. Freeport is the center of power and commerce on Norath. The city sits on the eastern edge of the continent of Delaire. This grand city shall be your home here on Norath, should you prove yourself worthy. If not, you can cower and beg for shelter at the gates of Kinos. No, oh, no, don't send me to Kinos. I don't want to know about Kinos at ah, all. there you are. I have been expecting you. There is much work ahead of I am Te'il okay. Envelic. Remember to always... i myself to Freeport. Excellent. There is indeed. You must be strong if you wish to serve properly. Northwest of here you can find trainer Darg Frostwind. Speak with him about combat training and do as he tells you. In case you forget, I've written down his name and location in your quest journal. Oh, yes, well, that. Thank you very much. Greetings. I've been stationed here at the outpost to teach new recruits the finer points of combat. After all, it's our duty to honor the Overlord by achieving legendary victories in his glorious name. Very well. The nearby sparring partners to my left are all looking to fight. They may hurt you, but they won't kill you. Return to me once you've bested one of them in combat. I will return. Oh, come on. You gotta, you gotta, come on, Nate. You gotta do it. You can't go for the weak one. You gotta go for the hard one. I refuse to go for the easy one. Even though this might cost me. Nearly there. There we go. Nice. See, it was worth it. <laughs> Ish. Have you defeated the sparring partner yet? Yeah, of course I did. Good. 
The stronger you are, the more useful you are to us. I'm sure of it. Go speak with Tail and Velix. She is just south of Sithor Spire. So, are you ready to learn more about the outpost and perform your first service for the Overlord? This outpost was recently established as a training ground for potential citizens of Freeport to hone their skills. Our first scouts on the island reported it as being uninhabited, perfect for our needs. It soon became clear that the initial reports were incorrect, and those scouts have been permanently reassigned to the bottom of the bay. Such is the price of failure. The intruders are a sect of the Tunarian Alliance, a lowly order of vermin originating from Kinos. As a true servant of the Overlord, your duty is to eliminate them. This should prove extremely useful in preparing you for the challenges that lie ahead after you leave the outpost. Not just yet. You will strike against those Kinosian scum when the time is right. First, we need to see if that weapon of yours is working. Are you ready for your first test? Go talk to Chef Gorga, just past the West Archway. She needs help gathering supplies to feed the members of the Freeport Militia who guard this outpost, which should provide a chance to test your combat skills. There is more to hunt on this island than just Kenosians. Oh, we'll go there. Okay. Report back to me when your duties with Chef Gorga are done. I will do so. Hmm. Wow. Need to wait for the stew to be done. No firsties. Many militia to feed. Your mouth no bigger than the rest. <laughs> ah, yes. Tail said you were coming. Good then. Gorga can stir the pot while you goes to collect more ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice laugh. Love it. So, what are we making here? Seaside stew. Only a couple things we still needs to get. First is the buzzers. Bugging Gorga they are. Not sure how they taste, but less of them is better. Be sure to pluck out the wings slowly. The last buzz is the best buzz. <laughs> I'll get some bees. Some loots. Alright, that's done. <laughs> Toss them in the pot. The next yummies are the main pot filler. Livers! Those elks are eating up all the eaten plants anyways, so we kill two halflings with one stone. Bring back the elk livers when you're done. Mmm, livers. <laughs> nice. Poor little thing. Oh, stunned me. Cool. Save some range to come here. And 
I know you're going to hate me for doing this, but I've got to do it. Oh, I have on red mail. So some of the old stuff, it, well, not old stuff, some of the new stuff is still in it. That will be the Gathering Obsession mail to go to uh, Isle of Mara. But I'm going to need to get these skills up, so I might as well do them. Is it bringing back memories already, this? Have they spawned yet? No. Let's kill you. All this harvesting stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be doing some crafting, probably on uh, on this tune, yeah. I'll probably make him a tailor, so he can make himself some gear. Oh, wasn't there? Oh, I remember something about this. Is it the, wasn't there a queen bee? If you got by attacking the beehives? I think there was. Let's turn this in. Remember right, it was a little bit harder. Oops. Missed all that. Got to return. We shall do that. Did you enjoy your hunting in the seaside glade with Chef Gorga? Gorga was impressed with your handiwork. I'm sure the outpost militia guards will be pleased with her stew, though I can't stomach troll cooking myself. <laughs> you show potential indeed. As promised, here is your reward. So, are you ready to prove your worth again? Good. Now listen closely. Though a direct attack upon your enemy can be quite satisfying, there are often more subtle means of inflicting damage. Cut off the feet, and the head is sure to follow, if you get my meaning. You're suggesting some kind of sinister plan? Indeed. Cunning and subtlety are often effective. And who is more cunning and subtle than an assassin? We've established a camp through the archway to the west, at the far end of Seaside Glade. Go and speak to Assassin Vermeer, who has devised a plan to strike at the heart of the Tunarians. I will do so. Assassin Vermeer will explain the details. Thank you. But before I do that, I need to... There we go, soldier bee. Oh, chest. Six with six stamina. It's better than nothing. I ain't got anything on. So, yes, there we go. <laughs> How stupid does that look? Right, uh, I can't do that one. Try this one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, lost one. No, it's more than one. Try this one. So the famous mini ding, I do believe. All 
Right, come on, where's this queen? I know there's, I know there's a queen bee, I'm almost positive. Almost positive. <laughs> it has been a long time since any of us did the Isle of Refuge. Try and this is the last one. Damn it. This one again, see if we can get it. No. Nope. Oh, an eight chest. I don't need whiz. But I'm not wearing anything else, so that will go on there. Oh, I thought I got it then. See, that something yellow was there then. <laughs> Very briefly. Felt like it was going to spawn. I'm feeling we'll have to do some of these, uh, this, I don't know what you call it, uh, grinding, <laughs> I suppose you're going to call it that, because I've got a feeling that the, you won't get the levels that we need just by doing quests. I think we're going to have to do some levelling you know, off camera as well, you know, just by grinding mobs and... Just to get the levels up, I think. Alright, come on, Queen Bee. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There we go, finally. See, I'm not delusional. There was a queen bee. <laughs> Treasure chest. Thank you. Uh, can't use it. All right. Oh, looks like I'm chopping that big tree there. How cool is that? Remember, there used to be some ore over there. I'm going to have a look and see. There's also... Oh, hello. Nearly caught me off guard then. I'm going to need to sell as well. I'm sorry about doing this on, on camera, guys. I just can't resist. I've, I, you know that I have to harvest when I see harvest. This is going to be a very long series, I think. <laughs> Level 50 is the max at the moment. I believe the first vote will be after 30 days. And if they don't get two thirds of the vote, then the next vote will be 30 days after that. So I'm hoping the first vote 
It doesn't do it because it's going to take longer than 30 days, I think, for me. So I've seen the Vami here. Hellos! Tail sent word you were coming. I've been scouting out the nearby areas, trying to get a better feel of what we's up against. Beast masters, these Tunarians are, training the wild animals of the island to fight for them. We's gonna cut off their resources to weaken them in the long terms, settings up our major attack after they are weakened. If we take out their picks of the wild animals, they'll have nothing to train. They trains the bears, hawks, and wolves on the island. The wolves are a bit too deep to touch now, but the bears and hawks are nearby, so we start with those. First, head north up. Kill wilder bears. They can found north in the wilder wood. All right, okay, that's this way from Riley. Yay! There we go. The wilder wood. And we're nearly at Ding. That's not never good. Oh, I'll have to go and sell, I think. to them here and then I'm going to go and sell the bears are dead good the cliff diver hawks perch high up and watch for foods to attack below I's got some food for them right here <laughs> take these mole rats and when you think you are in a good position below the hawks examine them in your inventory and release one return if you needs more you okay are... dinner is served Might as well take this quest while I'm here. New recruit. Your rep There's a lot of undercover work here, which means even if you do well, the higher-ups may not know it's you doing the work. Some of my best work was claimed by someone else, and I mean to fix that. Not long ago, I intercepted part of a note one of the Tunarian spies was delivering. They've hidden the remaining pieces. We need to get them all back to learn more of what they're doing. I appreciate it. Whatever glory comes of this, we'll share in the credit. I'm sure this will more than make up for the work I've done that others have taken credit for. A word of warning, be wary of those wood elves. They are more cunning than others may realize. All right, okay, I'm going to go and sell. Because I need some room in the inventory. That's a shame that. Look at that five int. Looks like I'm, looks like I'm the only class that can't use it. How sad is that? I never noticed that before. Look at that skelly there. <laughs> right, well I think I might call it there for this first episode, folks. So, uh, we shall leave it there. I'll probably be back on in a while. So hopefully you see this and come and join me. This is Old Grey signing off. <laughs>